Hello, Intermediate School. We welcome you here at Channel WRRS on January 19th, 2018. I'm Liam Suriani. And I'm Gage. We pride ourselves with bringing you the latest Intermediate School news. We're continuing our Coin Start January. Miss Larkin is on week three of the Good Hygiene series. Before we see this week's edition, let's review the last two weeks tips. Week one is all about taking a shower or bath regularly. Using soap and also washing in all the nooks and crannies. And don't forget your private parts, it is super important. Always use a clean towel after you shower. And don't forget to put on clean clothes. Last week, Mrs. Larkin talked about using deodorant. She also talked about keeping your teeth clean. We want those smiles to shine. Let's see what Miss Larkin has for us today. Let's talk about washing your clothes. So, first thing you want to do is read any labels that your clothes have on them. Because you want to make sure they're able to be machine washed if you're using a machine. We will talk about washing clothes by hand after this. The next step is you might want to sort your clothes into darks and lights. Now that's completely up to you. You can wash everything together. That's what I do. Just use cold water. Step three, you want to pick a detergent. There's all different kinds. If you were out of luck too, you could also use dish soap. Step number four, pick a washer water temperature. Like I said, if you're going to wash these together, you're going to want to use cold water. Step number five is you're going to want to load the washing machine. Load her up. All right. So we want cold water and also want to do a medium wash. Okay. Now I only put two things in, so I'm going to turn this to small. Got to add our detergent. Okay, dump that in there, shut this, and then we're going to turn it on. Okay, washer's filling up, good to go. The next step would be to unload the washing machine. So you're going to want to take everything that was in the washing machine and load it into the dryer. Okay, if you want to, you can add dryer sheets. Or fabric softener everyone's different you don't necessarily have to also if you don't have a dryer to use you can hang your clothes up to be washed so I always go to more dry and then cottons and you just hit start and it dries them off step number seven you're gonna want to take your dry clothes out fold them up make sure you fold everything like so folded good to go I fold them when they take them right out of the dryer. It'll be a lot easier than dumping out a basket and folding them because you might not want to do it that way. Welcome to Cleanopedia. Always read the instructions before using a product. Remember to check fabric care labels or manufacturer's guidelines and test a small area before using a product or natural solution. Fill a basin, sink or tub with water at a temperature corresponding with the one suggested on the label. Be careful not to use scalding water. If you're hand washing multiple garments, go to the lowest suitable temperature. Add an appropriate amount of specialist hand wash detergent, like personal hand wash powder, and make sure it's thoroughly dissolved. Add the clothes to the water one at a time. If they are stained, leave them to soak for up to half an hour. Wash the clothes paying particular attention to any stained or marked areas. Rub the fabric gently against itself and agitate the water. If you wish, add a small amount of fabric conditioner, like Comfort, to another tub. 
and leave clothes to soak for 20 minutes to half an hour. Make sure to follow the directions on the label. Drain all the dirty water from your sink, basin or tub. Rinse each item of clothing thoroughly in fresh water to get rid of any traces of detergent. Dry delicate items such as jumpers and dresses flat on a towel to avoid distortion. If you have jeans and shirts stiff with grease and with dirt, put them in the washing machine and wash them till they're nice and clean. Wash, 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 washing machine, wash your clothes clean will make you look great and smell good too. We have breaking news for our school's fundraiser. It's really easy. All you have to do is fill out this packet with names and addresses. The people who turn in the packet will get a ball. There's, and there's prizes. And at the end, we will be drawing names to win this Minions Robot Radio Control Kevin. Back to you. It's time to find out the winners of the Respect, Responsibility, and Safety drawing. Congrats to our winners. Chloe Harwood, 5th grade, won the water bottle. Danica Reese, 4th grade, won the bag. And Merrick Kaczynski, 6th grade, won the chance to be in the challenge. Time for the ticket count. In the last two weeks, only 145 tickets were turned in. We now have 3,966 tickets earned. That means we need 2,000 34 more tickets to get to 6,000 tickets in seven weeks. That is an average of 291 tickets in a week. That means instead of 145 tickets in two weeks, we need to get 582 tickets in two weeks. From now until the end of the marking period. Get those tickets and make sure you turn them in. Make sure you are practicing respect, responsibility, and safety. We really need those. We really need to get more tickets. This brings an end to our broadcast today. Don't forget to respect those around you and show responsibility in everything you do. We are respectful. We are responsible. We are safe. We are, we are red, 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 red,